Hi, I'm Mrs. Timmons, and I'm going to show you how to cite an article from Britannica School in Noodle Tools. First, you need to get to your article. So go to a LibGuide that has your database and click on the database link for Britannica School. Once you get the database open, you want to search for your search terms. So I'm going to search for Genghis Khan and you get some articles. You can scroll through and choose which one you want to read. I'm just going to take the first one. And there you've got your article and you want to start to figure out now how you're going to cite it, what's the article title and author, database, all that good stuff. So Britannica gives you a really nice citation button right here that helps you answer some of those questions, but they tend to leave the author's name out of their recommended citation. So you will have to look separately to find the author's name. But first of all, I will show you right in here, we have the article title, Genghis Khan. In italics, Britannica School, that's the name of the database that you're in. You're in Britannica School right now. They have a lot of different databases, but the publisher or vendor is Encyclopedia Britannica. They create a lot of things besides just the Britannica School. And uh, here you have your link that you're going to want to use, and that is a stable link that goes directly to just this article. Uh, but the author is missing from this helpful box. So in Britannica School, if you scroll down to the bottom, you will usually find the author's name. Sometimes you will also find a box that says article contributors. And if you click on that, it will repeat the author's name and then give you more information about their credentials so you can see that they are a trustworthy source. So that's where you have to go to get your author's name. So now when we go over to Noodle Tools, first of all, uh, we are going to list it as a database because we do pay for it. It's uh, not something that's just entirely free on the web. So we're going to start by clicking Database. And then I want you to go ahead and cite Britannica School as original content in a database. This set is no longer something that comes out as a printed encyclopedia and then the exact text is put online. Our Salem Press books are still like that, but this is more original content written directly to go online into the database. So we're going to click that. And so when you want to fill out the name of the database, remember we were looking here and saw that Britannica School in the citation button is the name of the database and then Encyclopedia Britannica is the name of the vendor. I'm going to copy Encyclopedia Britannica because it does this weird thing with where the A and the E are right next to each other. It's hard for me to get my keyboard to do it, so I'm going to copy it from here. But first I want to look for my database name, Britannica School and Noodle Tools. Now you may have noticed that sometimes when you start typing in a name, uh, Noodle Tools will go ahead and fill it in with what it thinks you might be looking for. But if it doesn't come up, right here under my library's databases, we have um, listed a lot of our databases and you can scroll in here and you may be able to find it here. And if you click it in here, it automatically populates it right in there. So normally you can just sort of ignore this, but if you're struggling to find the name of your database, you can always use this as something to search in, click and pops that database name right in there. Now I'm going to paste Encyclopedia Britannica and then let's go back and get our URL right there. And um, notice to get the publication date, it gives it to me right here. It says August 13th, 2017. So I'm going to enter that in as well. August 13th, 2017. And then paste in my stable URL. And um, you no longer have to put in the access date unless it's a, a source that you suspect is likely to change or you can't find a data publication. But neither of those are really true for this. All right, so now there's not much more to add, but we do have to go back and find that author's name that was down there at the bottom. So he is Charles R. Bodden. I'm going to enter that in, author. Charles R. Bodden. And then our article title, I believe, was just Genghis Khan. And that's actually all we have to do. It's very quick. We're done. And then you can see how it displays right here. 
So again, we do not want to try to copy and paste out of Britannica School because we would be missing the author's uh, name and that's really a very important field. We want to give credit to the author, but you can use their citation information to help you fill out your citation and neutrals. If you have any questions, just ask Mrs. Timmons. Thanks. Bye.